Hi guys, so on today's video, I'm gonna be doing a haul. I uh, did recently go to Ulta. So I went in because I wanted to check out the Makeup Revolution um, stuff. And um, I actually was going for to check out the, the palettes that look like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. But um, none of the colors re really caught my attention. Like I felt like for the majority of them, I kind of have um, a lot of those colors. So I went ahead and um, got something. I felt like I didn't really have something like it just to try it out. So let me go ahead and show you guys the palette I got. This is the thing and then there's another plastic. Okay, good. So I don't have to open it up. This is right here. So here are the colors and I might have something similar to it. I wanted to try these out. I like this pink one right here and it does have a, the names of the colors and it does have a pretty big mirror. So let me go ahead and I did swatch some of them at the store. Like this one's the white. Ooh, and then this orange one right here. That one's pretty too. And then this pink one. That one's pretty. So let's see. Mm. They swatched decent. I mean, the white one did really good too. So I can't wait to try that out. This palette, I also got a couple of other things. Let's see. From Makeup Revolution, I also got their concealer. So I've been wanting to try the concealer, but every time I would go to Ulta, like they didn't have um, any, like they were actually sold out. So I got the colors C6 and C5 because I wasn't sure which one would be more my color. Cause sometimes I feel like I really buy like too light of a concealer and I look like super bright under here. Um, so I kind of felt like, okay, I have to start getting a little bit like darker because those are too light. So hopefully those work out. And then what else did I get? I got some stuff from Essence. So I got this right here and this is, um, waterproof matte fixing compact powder. So I was like, what? Water waterproof? So... Okay, making sure that it wasn't touched. So this is it right here. And let's try it out. Let's swatch it. So it looks white, really white. We'll see how that works out. And then I got this little cute eyeshadow. I think this was like $2 or a dollar, I don't know. This is um, the color Cotton Candy. And I wanted it. I wanted to get it for my um, my palette. I did swatch it there, and it looked really nice. It's like a glittery, well, not glittery, but like shimmer. So yeah, it's really nice. I like it. So I got that, and then I got something from a different brand that, like, I've heard. Um, I believe I heard Tati talk about it, but I don't really remember like what product she had or if she uh, gave it good reviews or not, but I just saw it there and I wanted to try it. So this is a um, model's own brand and I think it was, what kind of brand was it? Um, it's a, it says it's designed and developed in the UK. So I wanted to try something different. Um, but it is made in China, so, <laughs> but anyways, um, I wanted to try this big bronzer out because it says it's, um, it's cream to powder bronzer, so I wanted to see how that worked out, like, it was, I felt like that's pretty interesting, like, cream to powder, you know? So this is it right here, and it's pretty big. Let's try it out. Let's see how... Okay, obviously it feels like a cream. And then, hmm, I can't see it. Is it right there? Oh, it's too 
too light for me because it looks really dark. <gasps> this might be too light. Well, there it is. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it out later on. What? I'm gonna go ahead and test it out some more and maybe I could just put it under my powdered contour. I don't know. But I thought it was interesting and it's pretty big. Like it's a big old pan. Kind of reminded me of the size, kind of reminded me of the um, Marc Jacobs Big Bronzer, which I want to get. And that one's not cream, that one's powder. But anyways, the next thing I got was this right here. And this is also by Models Owned and it's a primer, face primer. So it's supposed to smooth, correct, and prime. So the only thing that I didn't realize is that it's mattifying and like I have nothing for the most part I have all matte foundation so it's like well I don't really need a mattifying primer if my foundation my foundation is already matte that's just gonna make my face look dry but this right here looks pretty cool in the bottle I liked how it felt Let's see it's right there and it feels very soft and it feels like pore feeling like you could tell that it's gonna fill in your pores you know you can't see nothing but <laughs> it just feels good on the skin and it's not it feels good on the skin and it's not too oily it doesn't feel too oily it doesn't feel watery so yeah, I got that because I really wanted to try the um, the Tatcha primer, but it's like what fifty dollars or fifty five dollars, and then one that's similar to that one is the um, Tarte one, the Tarte one, um, but it's like super little, and that one's like forty bucks. So I'm like, uh, I'm like pulling back from buying it. And then the last thing that I got was this right here, and this is a matte lips matte liquid lipstick and it has like a mint um like it has mint well it says here liquid lipstick with a hint of mint because i did smell it and it smelled like mint and this is a color coral fresh totally ruined the box and this is it right here by models own It does smell minty. I want to try it on. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so I like how it feels on the lips. It feels very, like, like you can obviously feel the mint. You know, like the freshness of the mint. You can smell the mint. And now it's like drying out, like like super up close these were a little lighter than others like of my lip but now that it's drying up it looks like an even color if that makes sense can i smell Let's see so yeah i mean it's a nice color it's a nice bright color for you know for summer it's a nice it's a nice bright color for like christmas no not christmas thanksgiving <laughs> no, this is like a summer color because it's it's bright, it's light. I it mean, like it also orange. also spring color, you know. It's like an orangey, so wouldn't it be like? Green? Yeah, but for the fall, you wear darker colors, like darker red. I, know, but you I mean, you could wear you could wear any color anytime. Like me, I really don't go with like, oh, this is a summer color, so I can only wear it in the summer. It's like if I feel like wearing a bright wear a bright purple during like the winter and I wear a bright purple but for the most part I don't but anyways yeah I like it so if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye